Most of you remember exactly where you were on the morning of September 11, 2001, when two planes crashed into the Twin Towers in New York. Few of you, however, will remember a very similar incident that happened only a few months earlier in March of that same year, when the Taliban destroyed two beautiful Buddha statues in a small valley in central Afghanistan. In both instances, people died, an identity was changed, and a cultural icon was lost. However, it was only after the events of 9-11 that the international community truly responded. Despite advocating an agenda of peace building and democracy, international aid in Afghanistan has been focused on achieving security and winning the war. This means that projects there are quick impact, which as the name suggests, implies a lack of long-term sustainability or durability. Regenerative design is a response to this failing model of post-conflict development. It merges architecture, infrastructure, and ecology as the premise for a new model of development that promotes synergy between the natural and built environments. The key is being specific to context, so as to promote resilience, the ability to bounce back from future crises. My project is the design of a park. Now, this isn't your traditional sense of a park, of a playground and a green field. This is a park that mitigates flooding and drought. In Bamiyan, the site of the now empty Buddha niches, water is a critical resource for what has largely been an agricultural society. The decades of conflict, however, have destroyed the necessary infrastructure and landscape that would typically store, collect, and distribute the water. This means that Bamiyan suffers from flooding every spring and drought every summer, resulting in a highly unproductive and impoverished population. Moreover, water collection is not only an activity of productivity, but also one of social gathering. It has a physical and social dimension that is critical to a sense of community and identity. So, what will this park do? This park will reconcile impacts of flooding and drought through small-scale strategies, such as, such as water retention basins. This park will, have incremental, will be designed incrementally to encourage participation with the local population, to empower them, to engender a sense of self-sufficiency. The park will consist of programs such as community gardens and tree nurseries, so we're harnessing local ecology and building up the local economy. Bamiyan thus becomes a model for a new type of development, design-based development, that engenders a sense of self-sufficiency, cultivates local economy, cultivates identity, and regenders the sense of self-sufficiency for Bamiyan. This is the new model of regenerative design. Thank you.